From downtown Atlanta, we welcome you to baseball from Turner Field. Tonight, it's game three of this four-game set between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Atlanta Braves. Kyle Loesch is ready to go as she'll be on the mound for the Braves. EK, what do you got? Well, Maddie, you take a look at that whip right there. Excellent. Just allowing a bit over a base runner per inning. We'll see if he can continue that here in this one. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Ibar throws to first to take care of him for the first down. In the second spot Justin Upton will stand in, and as you can see, the numbers away Justin from home Upton. has been much better once he gets out on the road. Chopped weakly to the left. Gonzalez is up with it. Throw gets him two down. Batting third. Second Jackie Robinson, Robinson gets Jackie his first Robinson. opportunity now in the top of the first with nobody on. And a sinker misses here. No, a called strike. I take that back. You got to figure that that man right there would be more than happy to see this guy at the plate taking his swings with two out and nobody on all night long. And so would the guy on the mound. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. It's the Phillies nothing. Braves coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Steven Strasburg is ready to go as he's on the mound for the Phillies. E.K., what's the word on him? Yeah, Matty, in his last start, he had a ton of strikeouts. He'll be looking to duplicate that effort here. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hit out towards second. Robinson is right there. And Robinson will throw him out. One gone. Batting second. Adam Eaton will stand in. And as you can see, he's had troubles here in his own ballpark. He's much better away from home. Out in front of it, strike one. Bases are empty. One man out. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. And for a starter, he has one of the better fastballs you're going to see. That one at 95. Solid base hit for him, his first of the afternoon. Paul Canerco will stand in. A big power threat here, to say the least, currently third in home runs in the National League. And he's also in the top ten in batting average and RBIs, so not just hitting those home runs. He's having a great year overall at the plate. On a good pitch there, gets Canerco swinging for out number two. Sammy Vaccaro will stand in. And as you take a look at the splits there, he's actually a better hitter against right-handed pitching this season. Upton's under it, and that retires the side. Alex Rodriguez, the third baseman, will dig in for the first time now. One home run shy of 30 on the year so far. Loesch gets the sign. Here comes the first pitch. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. On the ground to the left side. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. Coming to the plate now, Derek Norris. And he Derek could give his guys Norris. an early lead if he can come through here. Oh, and it's so important to take advantage of these kind of opportunities early in a ball game. It can change the entire... Oh, and he nonchalanted that one as it costs him and goes right by him. He'll come home with it. Here's the tag from Castillo. They got him at the plate. Yonder Alonso will stand in now, and as you take a look at the splits, his numbers compare unfavorably once he leaves the comforts of home. Chop foul at the plate, strike one. And boy, this at-bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0-2 now. 
That <laughs> got in his kitchen big time right there. In the dirt here, but fortunately here, no advance. Started the chase there. They'll appeal it down to third, and no swing. It's ball two. No score here as we play inning number two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Swing and a liner back through the box. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And it's in time as he's out at third as the good relay gets him. Holds. Alejandro Deaza steps in, and he's really been feeling it at the plate the last week or so. Definitely a guy to keep your eye on right now. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. Well, this is the kind of situation where they came up short last night. They had opportunities, but they could never really cash them in, so... You can bet they'd love to get something going on the board early here. Well, and he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. Has to be thinking strikeout here. And he starts to go after it. Question was, did he hold up in time? Yes, indeed, says the third base umpire. High in the air into shallow left center. After it is eaten. And that's the third out. One left for Philadelphia. We'll go to the Wellington Castillo steps in, hoping to get things going at the plate. The you can see it's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. And he'll look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. That evens it up one and one. One and two. Yeah, kind of a late decision to swing there. Even if he hits that thing, that might just be a routine fly to right. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. After it is Diazza. But he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. John Jason will stand in now with a good chance to break the seal here following the leadoff double. Well, it's a good RBI opportunity, but you've got to remember your first job, which is to at least get that guy over to third base. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. A little bit off the outside. It's 1-2. and Fastball called. Strike three. And there's the first out of the inning. Marwin Gonzalez will stand in now. He homered in the ball game last night. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. And, and he lays off for ball one. Yeah, looked like he hit the target. That's a tough pitch to lay off, but he made it pan out. And that's into the outfield for a one-out hit. And now third base coach Bo Porter is going to wave him on home. And they're going to take a one nothing lead as the run comes across to score. And he will pull into second with an RBI double. Right, i got to tell you. I love the way this guy just lets it rip. Ahead in the count, behind in the count. It really doesn't matter to this guy. He's just going to go up hacking. And he drives in a run right here as he just drills this one for two bases. Tap fouled at home plate. Ready with the 0-2. Got him looking with the fastball as that had some two-seam movement to it. Two gone. Eric Ibar, the hitter now, with a chance to pick up that runner from second with two away. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing and one. Sliced hard on the ground. Throw on to Alonzo. Takes care of him. And that... Eduardo Nunez will stand in. A couple of hits in that ball game last night. Well, Matty just continues this string of his last 10 games where he's hitting over 300. He has those really, really nice games mixed in there. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Batting ninth. 
Ichiro Suzuki will stand in now, just a few ticks shy of the 300 mark for the season. Well, he's been having a pretty good year, but he's been slumping just a little bit at the plate recently. We got to see if he's going to pick it up in this game. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Down low, two balls and a strike. Well, this is a guy up there that's not hitting a ton right now, but he can still work the count. and That alone can be beneficial to an <laughs> offense. To two and two now. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. Three, two. It's full three and two. If there's one thing base dealers don't like, it's when you throw at their legs. Now that's their meal ticket you're messing with. The short hit hard. Throws over to Conecco for out number two. The right fielder, number seven. Michael Franco Michael will get a second Franco. shot now. He grounded out to start the ball game. And he only saw a couple pitches, too. And that's great for the pitcher when you can get an easy leadoff out like that. Sinker to open the A-B in there for strike one. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind, nothing in two. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Rod Carew digs into the box in the bottom Winning of inning number right. three. And guys, Second this is the guy you want leading off this inning. He's your leadoff man, so maybe he can get things started, set the table for a little bit of a rally. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Strasburg steps into the windup. Here it is on 0-2. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact, and he'll get another chance. Out in front of that one. May have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. Chopped foul at the plate, and he stays alive. Still 0-2. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And this will land foul. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Protecting on 0-2 so we'll do it again. This is line to left, and that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Stepping in, Adam Eaton. He singled his last time up. He's running toward second, pulled toward right center field. Gayaza is right there, one down. So one gone for the Braves here in the third, and that'll bring up the first baseman, Paul Canerco. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Oh, and he's going to get rung up on a curveball, and that looked like a questionable strike at best, two away. Now batting. Sammy Vaccaro will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. One left for Atlanta. They lead it one to nothing. Justin Upton is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. And right here is an important time for them to climb back into this one. They definitely want to even this one up sooner rather than later. High and deep to left center field. Vaccaro racing back. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Justin Upton with the solo home run. Number 22 on the year, and it brings the Phillies back even now with one apiece. Jackie Robinson is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing in two. So far, he's the only guy that struck out for these guys. 
He's in danger of making it two now. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. And foul. Trying to strike him out for the second time. Hard hit ball to second. Peru has it on to first. So a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Alex Rodriguez digs in with one run in and one gone in the inning. Sends that one out of play for strike one. A little bouncer. That goes foul. Two strikes on him now. One run on three hits. And no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And a half-hearted attempt that time. But they'll say he broke the plane. And that's out number two. Digging in to try it again, Derek Norris. He reached on a single in his first try. Well, everyone knows he's slumping right now, so we'll see if that got him going. Loesch into his motion. 0-1 oh, on its way. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Taken in by Carew. Throw on to Canerco will be in time, and the inning is over. Wellington Castillo is set to lead us off in the home the half Rays of the fourth the inning. Catcher. And he'll try and get him out in front Castillo. to start the at bat, but this misses off the plate away. It's ball one. And two did he go around? Ball. No, he did not. Ball two. You know, sometimes when you're thinking fastball, you try to get moving ball. just a little bit early. And that's a good job no. of recognizing off speed and then holding back on the swing. And no Aye. doubt about this one. It's in there. Three and one. <laughs> yeah, no mistake about that one. That one's right there. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Now batting. John Jason is at the plate as he Sean. takes a cold strike one. Leadoff man aboard here in a 1-1 ball game. Chopped foul right at home plate. Jammed him a bit there as it's fouled at the plate. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Another one sent foul. Nobody out, runner on first. And Jaso swings and misses as he's down on strikes for the first out. Marwin Gonzalez stands in after hitting an RBI double his first time around. And with a man on first, it'll take at least another double to bring him in. To second for one, and it's wide of the bag and right by him. And he is in there. Nori Aoki in now. He went down looking at his first trip to the plate. Very weakly on the ground. And he takes strike two. Boy, and right here, just a ground ball is going to get you a run. And more than that. And he tries to get to the backhand, but it gets on by. In to score, the runner from third. So first and third with one away. And that'll bring in the shortstop, Eric Ibar. He's ready. Here's the first offering. In there at the knees, strike one. Now a left-hander up and throwing in that Philly bullpen. And it's quickly 0-2. Here's a blooper out toward left center. Here comes Deaza. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. But I don't think he had designs on even really trying it as he retreats with two away now. Second baseman. Rod Carew is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Good curveball that time in the low 80s. Nothing in two. No taken now. He's going to have to swing the bat. And he wastes a fastball high there. One and two. Hit hard to short. He's got it. Throw on to Alonzo. Takes care of him. And that ends the inning. Leading off the inning, Yonder Alonso, as they'll look to get Leading something going Williams. here and even this game up. And in a pretty close game Yonder so far, they'd Alonso. love to see this guy get on base so they can get a rally started Whoa. to get back in this thing. 
And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. On the ground to the right side. To his right, Conerco. And he'll take this to the bag. Three unassisted for the first out. Center fielder number Alejandro Deaza is Alejandro into the box for his Deaza. second appearance. 0 for 1 with a fly out. He pulls this one into right, but he'll barely have to move out there in right as he hauls this one in for the second out. Eduardo Nunez stands in. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out. Hot shot toward third. Right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning. Phillies down in order. They still trail it here. Adam Eaton. We'll dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. And you know, I think he's had a good approach in each of his first two at bats. He seems to be seeing the ball well and putting some decent swings on it. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And Robinson will throw him out. One gone. Paul Canerco will stand in now. A punch out victim twice already. EK, I'll ask you because you're the one sitting next to me. Do you approach an at bat differently when you have two strikeouts under your belt this early in the game? Well, you do in the sense that whatever you did the first two times, <laughs> it wasn't working. But I think if you start worrying too much about trying to avoid the hat trick or, or worse, it'll start becoming a mind game and you'll start falling into some pretty bad habits. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strike out of the game. Now batting left fielder Sammy Vaccaro. Sammy Vaccaro stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1 and 0. Chop foul right at home plate at strike one. Taken high and deep to right. Franco ranging back. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Down in order go the Braves. They lead it two to one. Ichiro Suzuki will stand in to lead things off here in the Philadelphia sixth. Now some action in the Braves bullpen as they'll stand up a right hander to get loose. Grounded up the first baseline. And Canerco takes it over to first himself for the out. The right fielder, number seven. Michael Franco Michael stands into the box. Franco. He's 0 for 2 so far in this one. Here's a slider that's inside, 1 and 0. For that man right there, just the one run allowed. The question is, can he make that lead stand up? Well, he hasn't shown too many signs of cracking so far. He's got the look He's of out. someone right now who's ready to go the distance. And the sixth inning is progressing quickly here. Now two away. Justin Upton will stride in again, and you can bet he'd love to do again what he did back in the fourth. A solo home run here that's been the only long ball of the game so far. Runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 now. This is a guy whose numbers are on the rise, and this is a big reason why. Two close pitches, two good takes, and now he's in a great hitter's count, 2-0. And Upton lays off again, and he's in control of the count. It's three and one. Well, I think it's time to attack now because these guys haven't been in too many good hitters' hey. counts. This is where you need to pounce. Strike two called, and it's full three and two. And this one misses for ball four. So the Phillies have got themselves a two-out base runner. And for as hot as this guy's been recently, now this is a no-brainer. Take the bat out of his hands Jackie any Robinson. chance you get. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And in steps a man whose number 42 has been forever retired, Jackie Robinson. A screaming base hit here, his first of the night. Check this out on show track. It's not a bad first pitch. It, it's down. It's on the outside part of the plate. Hey, if you can get guys to swing at that, 
you're going to have a lot of success. Just didn't work out here. Stepping in now, Alex Rodriguez, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce one foul for the first strike. Trying to hold the lead. Oh, had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0-2. And, and the Phils know that one key hit here could make a big impact on the outcome of the ball game. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Wellington Castillo will step in to get things started for the Braves in their half of the sixth. Well, you know, he's been on base twice in this one already, so now let's see if he can do it again. Sean Gilmartin will come on now as he'll start out the bottom of the sixth. Wellington Castillo is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. And he falls behind 0-2. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. On the ground to third. Oh, and this goes right past him. Now batting, but designated. John Jaso, ready to Sean take another shot, Jason. went down on strikes his last time up. Lefty against lefty here as this is taken for a ball. One and oh. Called strike at the knees, one and one. Low scoring game thus far, two to one here in the sixth. Swung on and missed. Two One and strength. two now. Huh. 68 miles an hour. I mean, that's barely the speed limit. You don't see pitches that slow too often. Drilled right back up the middle. A step on the bag for one. On to Alonzo. It's a double play. Marwin Gonzalez steps in. He was able to reach base thanks to an error in his last at bat. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Bounced softly in front of the plate. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. Leading off the inning, Derek Norris. And they'll need him to get something going here. Well, this has been a great game so far, and they're only down by one. So getting this leadoff guy on would be huge for them. Fly ball heading for the alley after it is Aoki. But he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And he'll get in at second base as the tying runs aboard with a leadoff double. Well, neither offense has really made a huge impact so far, but... Finally, maybe a little sign of life. He drives this ball for two bases. And even though they've had trouble scoring runs, they're not out of this thing by a long shot. A couple more of these could get him right back into it. Ray Gomez will come on now as he'll take over in inning number seven. And he's retired one away. So stepping in, Alejandro Deaza, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. And a base hit as that'll score the runner from third and tie our ball game at two apiece. Well, with one out and the infield back, he knows he can pick up the RBI with just a simple ground ball. But he winds up with more than that as this is going to find a hole for an RBI single. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. And that finds a seam for extra bases as we'll see if they want to wheel that go-ahead run home from first. The runner from first comes all the way around to score. And he will pull into third with an RBI triple. Now about it. Ichiro Suzuki Ichiro digs Suzuki. in now with two already home and a potential third waiting in the wings only 90 feet away. Well, runs often come in bunches. Ibar with a great stop. The throw. The tag. Safe. Oh, love the effort there. Zach Putnam will come on and pitch here with one gone in the top of the seventh. Michael Franco will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. When you're 0 for 3 in a game already, I think you're really happy to see a new pitcher in this ballgame. Maybe something will change for him. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. Throw over to the bag. Runners back.
And again, a throw, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Must think something's up. Here it comes, 1-0. Oh, on the ground to short. Could this be two? The second for one. On to first. And talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. Leading off the inning, Nori Aoki, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. And a sliding effort there, but that ball had eyes, and the leadoff man's on base to start the inning. And he'll get in there safely. And that's a big double right there, down by two. But more importantly, that's going to get the tying run to the plate. So we're going to see how they want to handle this defensively now with the open base. And Robinson will throw him out, one gone. Rod Carew will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something out of this inning. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. And a breaking ball falls in there for a strike. It's one and one. And they'll go off speed here yep. as this pitch misses. It's two and one. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. That's in there. And it'll run the count to full. Three and two. Well, remember, you don't have to throw him a strike with first base open. But a walk would bring the go-ahead run to the plate. But not in time as the run scores and the lead is trimmed to one. Number one, Adam. Into the windup and the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Deaza on the move. And that ends the inning. So one run on one hit, no errors, and no one left on. Leading off the inning, Justin Upton, as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. Justin Upton. He's set. Here it comes. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Shot toward right center, and there's a base hit, so a chance to add a little insurance here as the leadoff man is on to start the eighth. And you know as a hitter, you're seeing the ball so well when you can take a pitch like that and square it up and just hammer right back up the middle. Into the box, Jackie Robinson. Swing and a little tapper. That's a foul ball. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Now third base coach Juan Samuel's going to wave him in. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. And in a game like this, there's no telling how important an insurance run that may turn out to be. He plates that run on the RBI double to make it a two-run lead now, which may not sound like that much, but it makes a world of difference for anyone who's coming in to try to close this game. Joaquin Soria is on to work as he'll take over here in the eighth. Alex Rodriguez swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. And in this spot, you got to pitch for the strikeout here. And this is a guy that's gone down twice so far, so you do have that in your favor. And A-Rod swings and misses at that one. He's in a quick 0-2 hole now. Two good pitches so far, both of them right at the knees. And you got to start thinking center of the diamond here. Shorten up a little bit. You've got to put something in play. And he struck him out. And there's the hat trick as that's his third strikeout of the ball game. Derek Norris Derek takes his Norris. turn now, looking to add some insurance to their lead in the form of that run standing out at second base. And he gives this one a pretty good ride down the left field line. But this will land foul just shy of the wall. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Here's the 0-2. 
can't get it down on the pitch in the dirt. Castillo corrals it, and the throw to first is there to record the second out. But he gets back in time safe at second base. Now batting. First base now to the plate, Yonder Alonso. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Sent on the ground out to second. Carew is there. Throw on to Canerco gets him, and the inning is over. Paul Canerco will stand in now, and he's been kept quiet out of the number three hole, hitless in his three at bats so far. Vinny Pistano will come out and take the ball here as he'll be making his 15th appearance of the year. Now, some action in the Phillies' bullpen as a right hander begins to crank it up out there. Skied into straightaway right. There to take it is Franco, and that's your first down. Sammy Vaccaro will stand in now, hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. And that's cut on and missed 0 and 1. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0 and 2. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Wellington Castillo will come in now with two away and to this point at least so much for having the three four five guys get the rally started yeah it's been an important inning for that man out there on the mound he's held his ground and he may get through the teeth of this lineup still holding on to that lead now a ball crushed high in the air deep to left way back there and that one is long gone Solo shot here to left, number 14 on the season. As they pull within one here, it's now a 5-4 game. And that gets through, so he'll have his first base hit, make him one for four in the game now. A good job here. Stays inside the ball well, doesn't roll over, and just shoots his ball right back up the middle. Time called here as with the potential time run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Marwin Gonzalez is the batter now as he looks at a ball of 1-0. And, oh. and, ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, 1-1. One and, one. and no shot to recover on the throw to first, and there are two on as we'll see how this is scored. Andre Dawson will come on now and pinch run here. Nori Aoki stands in as he looks at a cold strike. Yeah, even with two on and two away, this is not a guy that's going to back down out there. He comes right after him with a fastball, and he gets ahead. Grounded to short. Throw not in time, and he beats it out for his third hit tonight. Eric Ibar will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And the second baseman is there to make the play, and that ends the inning. One for the Braves. Back here in the ATL with baseball on the show. Set to go in the ninth from Turner Field. David Wright has come into the ball game now as he takes over as the new third baseman. Striding in to start the ninth, Alejandro Diaz as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line in left. Vaccaro moves over, one down. The batter, number nine. Eduardo Nunez gets another Eduardo crack right here. Nunez. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. Hot shot on the ground is short. There's Ibar. Throw on to first takes care of him. And the top of the ninth is proving unfruitful thus far. Now Two batter. quick outs here. Ichiro Suzuki. Ichiro Suzuki steps in now. Uh, couldn't hold up on the curveball there as he went around for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Foul right at the plate. The count moves now to one and two. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And another foul ball. 
Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two lofted in the air out toward right center. And he's able to get there on the long run and he covered a lot of ground there as the side is retired. Leading off the inning, Rod Carew, and they'll need him to get something going here. Swing and a liner, but this is a foul ball. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Down the first baseline, but this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Lifted the other way out to left center. Deaza is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for. One away. Number one, Adam Eaton. Adam Eaton is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. High in the air out to center field. Deaza is there and quickly two are gone here and it's not looking good for the home nine. Paul Canerco is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. And there's a swing and a miss for strike two. And the Braves now are down to their final strike. Fouled straight back. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, he had to work two full innings to get it done. So he might be a little more sore.